This video clip shows you um, what the navigation pane is in Microsoft Access. In the process, you will learn about report, table, query, forms, and relational database in the specific context of Access. Tables and report could mean different things in real life, and it could even mean something similar but different in Excel. Okay, so this video shows you uh, what they mean in the context of Access. Now let's launch the Access database. This is my imaginary database. It's a database based on my imaginary information. It's a class list of my celebrity students. So this is the original database. So if I click here, it will be open. Now this whole area is called the navigation pane. Okay, so this is all these videos is all about navigation pane. And you can click any one of these items, and this will be opened. Now this is my imaginary dream class. So I got a given name, family name, and some students like David Beckham and its state of birth, occupation, a famous Olympic swimmer and at the moment is in the registration group or class 11S and I can add more information, the annual income of these uh, high flyers of my old, uh, students okay so this is the master database and based on this one database, you can choose to only show part of the information. For example, I close it now. I only want to show the name and the class and the job that my celebrity students are working. So you can open this one. So now you have a more simplified list of information of my class we only show three fields of information okay and we can also choose two uh, selection criteria we can make a list based on two selection criteria president and singer so we only choose from this master list two items president and singer so if you click this, in this master list, you will you can see precedents. You can find precedents here, and we can find precedents here. Okay, but it's just too much. Imagine I have a class of one thousand students, or it's a school database where there were three thousand students. It's just too much. In this case, you can't use Excel. You have to use Access so that you can make specific list of information you want and easily okay so instead of looking in here look for presidents and singers so we can go in here make a query this is what we get the final result so i have bill clinton as a singer and i have tom cruise as a president and oj simpson is a singer in my dream class okay so I also have a list of precedents only in my dream class so the list can go on and on and on you can just click here and then make a query then you can make any list you want depending on your needs and in the meantime every time after you have done this query you can present it in different way so like this one the dream class I want to show it in the form format so they're all in the form format like this okay so we got 74 look at here we got 74 in my class and we can move on like this number two student number three students David Beckham Warren Buffett and Alison Chow okay Bill Clinton 
and I can also show the information in class like a report format like this one okay so we like the report format it's the same information but it's presented in different way that will suit your individual need the next one I can also hide some of the information so if I have make a list like this but some celebrity students doesn't want to be known and that they are studying in my class so I have for security reason so I have to highlight I have to hide their names so that way I have this documents here hidden item okay so now the given name is all hidden only the family name is here and all the rest information is also shown but you can choose to hide the day of birth you can also choose to hide their class group and it depends on what you want so this is format in different format and another one is the concept of a relational database now assets show you in a physical and tangible way that they, these forms are related so this is the master copy original form information this is what you should be updated all the time and then every time when you want something you make the list from this file okay and also it shows you that this one one two three four five six all make from this table and so they are related and also it shows you here one two three four are from here okay are from this table okay so this is the end of this recording